world. I think that most, you know, there's a lot of people that go to LA to achieve the same thing, and that's fame, and a lot of ambitious people, a lot of competition, and much more so than in the UK. And no one in LA raises the competitive stakes as high as Boot Camp Barry. This man has trained the likes of Terry Hatcher, Katie Holmes, and Jenny McCarthy. And now his latest client is Louise. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Nice I'm to good. meet nice you. Nice to meet you. You too. Are you ready for this? Are you excited? No. Are you nervous? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm alright. Just go with the flow, you know. Just we're good. Have a go. When was That's the last time you worked out? About three weeks ago. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna hurt. Down you go! There you go! Gee! <laughs> You're doing great. That was my first push-up. Really? Ever. That was our worst push-up ever! I'm still knackered and I've been out of there 10 minutes. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Barry's not only cracking the whip on Louise's exercise regime, he'll also be in charge of her diet. And look at your fist, look at mine. That's your portion. And this is my portion. Exactly. And see, that's the difference. Always wish to have bigger hands. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <Me too>. Especially <laughs> when it comes to chocolate cake. <laughs> Louise has a friend in L.A. who's been feeling the pressure, Denise Van Outen. Hello. Hello. How are you? Nice to see you here. Yeah, look at you. Hello. Oh, Thank you. Denise has already experienced the size zero phenomenon firsthand. Yes, I mean, this is the land of size zero. That's the first thing I noticed when I came over. And before I started working, because I just, I came here first of all for a holiday, and it was amazing how many people said to me at that time, and I'm going back only six months ago, that I actually had people telling me that I needed to lose weight. <gasps> I met agents, and I remember sitting in the Chateau Marmont, which is like the cool, trendy hangout that people go to, and Nicole Ritchie was sat two tables away from where I was sitting, and she, she was so thin, like so tiny. I mean, it, it, I, I wanted to go over and feed her. You know, when you feel sorry for somebody and you're just thinking, you look ill. And I sat there with this agent guy, and he said to me, you know, Hollywood's very competitive, and this is what you're up against. And I looked, <laughs> and I thought, do you know what? I'm not doing it. And he said to me, this is what you need. You're going to have to slim down, because unfortunately here it is the look. And I just looked at him, and I just thought, forget it. So I purposely ordered a massive bowl of spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> there you go. It That's is. normal. <laughs> There's nothing there. There is, look, there is a roll. Oh, good. There is a roll. There is a roll. <laughs> I also had the British press as well. I mean, I was on holiday, and they took a photograph of me sat by the swimming pool. And I was just, I'm on holiday. You know, when I go on holiday, I let everything hang out. It's not a fashion show for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And then when I returned to the UK, there was a picture of me, front page of a magazine, saying that I'm overweight and I've let myself go. And I was really angry about that because... I like having my curves, I like having my bust, I like having my bum. It's just normal to be a woman and to have curves. Yeah. And the thing that really annoyed me about the last time I went home is that I, my goddaughter is just turned 14. And because it was in the magazine, it said that I was overweight, she started looking at herself and said, oh, does that mean I'm overweight? Yeah. So I think it's really irresponsible. Hi. Denise's story has made Louise even more determined to carry out her experiment. And to set herself a goal, she's decided to buy a size zero dress. Now, I remember when in the UK, if you was an eight, you were tiny. You know, an eight was just really small. And, you, you know, that was, as a woman, to be an eight was, wow, you're an eight. Now an eight is just classed as really normal. And it's, I think, if we keep moving the goalposts for women, what are we going to have left? We're not going to be women anymore, are we? Celebrity stylist Nicole Chavez is going to take her shopping. Right, 
So where do we start? I think we should go over here. Okay. That's tiny. That is tiny. I can get my boobs in there. Okay, right, let's do it. We can try these two off. Yeah. Okay. It's very, very tight, and I can't get the sip done off. So, um, you know, love. And I can't breathe. But it's cute. I like this dress. If it fits in me. <laughs> Which you made me one day. <laughs> oh, no. This one I really can't get done up. It's a workout. It's a workout. <laughs> the dress on. I don't think I'd get into this even in 30 days. I can't pull it anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm fed up with trying size zeros on now. Can I have, can I have some proper clothes, please? <laughs> Louise can't find anything she likes. Will you do me a favour? Because obviously I have to go home soon. But I would really like a dress from here. Yeah. Something that's a bit different. Um, would you carry on looking for me? Sure, I'll um, spend. I'll you kind of know what I'm, I'm looking for, I think, yeah, now. Yeah. Coming up next, the size zero regime starts. I have a very empty trolley. <laughs> <laughs> you want a size zero. How much do you want to stick in your trolley? And the problems begin. I'm really crappy with Jamie. I keep on shouting at Charlie, and no, I don't know if everyone's going to want to carry on living with me at this rate. Louise Redknapp is about to start a 30-day crash diet to get to size zero. Over the last five years, stars have been dramatically shrinking. Curvy Superman star Terry Hatcher is now a bony, desperate housewife. What are these women doing to themselves? Some celebs would have us believe skinny is a healthy byproduct of success. But is it, in fact, a deeply destructive trend? Louise is about to find out, because tomorrow the diet begins. Hey. But before her starvation diet and exercise program kicks in, there's time for one last family meal. What's the hardest thing you're going to have to face, you think? I just think what you're living what you're the lifestyle, the, the training. In the training, this would be hard. I've been able to come and do this. <laughs> I love just, you know, coming out and having food out and, you know, eating with you and Bubs. I couldn't do it. Pardon? I couldn't do it. What, the diet at all? No. Diet D-Day has arrived, and so has Boot Camp Barry. He's flown over from L.A. to kickstart Louise's regime. Good morning! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Why no. fear the inevitable? Uh, <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm good. How's the kitchen? Barry takes no prisoners when it comes to carbs. So, do you, do you have stock in pasta? <laughs> yeah. I know. Are you invested in the pasta company? Do you know what? It's one of those things, you know, when you go shopping, you just pick up and you don't actually need any more. But my son does love pasta and it's really... Clearly. My dogs like it too. Your dogs? <laughs> what is this? Carbohydrates Anonymous? Or is it... Oh, it's a Kronos? cupboard. I'm not going to keep veg and fish and chicken and well, stuff no, in a cupboard. This is nothing but... Oh, look. Oh, these are okay. <laughs> oh, am I allowed to eat that? <laughs> Hello. You could use a few less carbs. Perfect. Now the cupboards are carb-free, Barry takes Louise to restock with size zero rations. <laughs> and he's putting her on a very simple, if sparse, low-carb diet. Oats and omelette for breakfast, berries, but not after 11 a.m., fish and greens for lunch and supper. It is as long as it's green. I see lots of colors. No we all want colors. Hello. Why, why can't you have color? <laughs> They're just the higher carb and the higher calorie. Oh, is it? They, it's I just easier just to go green. Okay, I can see lots of green here. Berries are a good fruit. Strawberries? Strawberries, blueberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries. Okay. Just remember what your portion is. Fist. Asparagus small. is great. Those are fine. Now, ready meals are a no-no. Ready meals are a big no now. Okay, milk is out, right? Milk is so out. Um, no yogurts. No, no. Yogurt is dairy. I have a very empty trolley. <laughs> <laughs> you want a size zero. How much do you want to stick in your...